631 now. School shootings we know have been an issue in our country for years now. Active shooter drills are now a regular part of many schools emergency plans. And today the Biden administration plans to issue a new executive order to help improve those drills. Amy Kawada in your corner this morning bringing us those details. Good morning, Amy. Cena, Tim, good morning. It's something we all unfortunately these days have sort of become numb to and no parent wants their children to experience gun violence in schools. As a part of this executive order, a heavy focus will be on how we're improving school safety and preparedness of schools before a tragedy strikes. That means investing in more resources and keeping guns out of the hands of the wrong people, whether they're in school or out. Deputy Director for the White House Office of Gun Violence Prevention Gregory Jackson says in 76% of school shootings, guns are coming from home. So there's a need to focus on better secure storage of firearms in the home by parents or guardians to prevent access. This comes as our own community in Harford County is still reeling from the tragic deadly shooting at Joppa Town High School earlier this month. While a majority of schools are currently practicing active shooter drills, Jackson says federal agencies need to work on improving training techniques. So a big part of what we'll focus on is how do we ensure that these drills are as effective as possible, but also how we minimize the uh, impact and the traumatic impact of experiencing these drills, recognizing that there are ways that these have been done poorly that have caused harm. Um, to the psyche and really reinforce the fear amongst our youth and amongst parents. And President Biden has said in his last few months of his administration that he wants to get as much life saving policies implemented as possible. So as we mentioned, this new executive order is twofold. So the other part of this order includes combating emerging firearms threats. For now, reporting live on your corner this morning, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.